Hey friends, it's Miss Norris here again, and I'm back with another video to help you practice your central idea and key detail skills using this really cool tool that I found on ABC Ya, which I know is a website that many of you enjoy playing on. Um, so we're going to use this tool to help us identify keywords today. And we're going to be using the same text that I used in my other video, but we're just going to zoom in on one section of it. Um, when we are finding the main idea or the central idea and key details, when we have texts that are a little bit longer and we have different sections, the text most likely has different central ideas within each section. So we're just going to focus on this section here which is causes of earthquakes, and I'm going to copy that. And then I'm gonna get onto our tool that we're using today. So all you have to do is type in ABC ya word cloud and hit enter. Now you're probably wondering, um, Miss Norris, what is a word cloud? So let me explain that to you as we get this set up. So a word cloud is basically a cluster of words or a group of words that is created using a text that you input or you put in. And what it does is it focuses on the words that the text uses the most. And if the text is using those words the most, they're probably pretty important words. And we know that important words are keywords. So when I click create, it's going to make me a word cloud and pull out the words that the text uses the most. And then I'm going to use those keywords to help me identify the central idea and the key details. So let's see what it creates for us. So in this word cloud, immediately what stands out to you? The word earth. The word earth is the biggest word in this word cloud. So obviously I know that that's going to go very well with my central idea because that section was talking about how the earth has material inside of it and how the earth is working in order to cause earthquakes. So I would definitely agree that earth is a key word there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to randomize and when you randomize it gives you a new word cloud to use. So it might throw some new words in there, it might be a little bit bigger, it's all just random. But we can also use these tools over here to kind of customize our own which I'll show you in just a second. So let's go ahead and randomize and see the next word cloud that it gives us. So as you can see, this one added a ton of more words. So the words that it added are important words, but you can tell that they're smaller. So they might not necessarily be keywords. So things that are really sticking out to me still is earth. And also ones that are coming out a little bit more too, I would say would be material, surface, rock, plates. I would definitely agree that those are all important words keywords that the text was using. So I like how it's given me more words to work with here. So I'm going to customize using these options up here. So for layout, that's where you can choose the shape of your word cloud. I think I'm going to go with, oh, let's do a heart because we love learning. So that makes sense. Not sure I would agree. That's a heart looks more like a circle to me, but maybe with all of these words, it might be a little bit different to make a heart shape, um, but we know it's a heart, but we can always choose a different one. Let's go with a circle, keeping it simple. Now, the important thing with this activity is that you are still able to tell what those keywords are within your word cloud. If you feel like nothing really pops out to you right away, then you probably need to edit your word cloud a little bit. So I have picked my layout. I like the circle. Let's choose some other colors. I think I like this blue and green because it reminds me of water and land on earth. So let's see what that looks like. I definitely like that and still I can see those um, words that are popping out to me. So I think I'm going to stick with that. And let's see about the font. Let's do a nice bold font and see what that gives us. I would say the words kind of stand out to me even more now. Definitely still saying material, earth, break, rock, plates, surface. Still the words that I have been focusing on this whole time. So I think this is going to be my final word cloud. I'm pretty happy with it, but you can always keep playing around with it until you get it just how you want it. 
Now, in the menu here, you can save it. So you can email it to yourself, email it to an adult so that they can save it. Um, if you have a printer at home, you can print it out. Edit gives you the opportunity to edit the words or the text that you input for the word cloud. And then if you just feel like you need to start from scratch, you can just do a new word cloud. But this is going to be my final one. And now I'm going to use it to help myself create a... Um, central idea and key details organizer. So over here, you can see that I have an organizer. You could do this on a piece of paper, but since I'm on my computer, I'm just going to be typing it into the organizer on Google Slides. So the first box is my central idea. So what that section is mainly about. And I want to focus on the word earth over here because it is that biggest word that's pointing or that's standing out to me. So if I use the word earth as one of my key words, I need to make sure first that I use it in the sentence and that second, it is telling what that section of the text is mainly about. So after you have reread that section, I would say that this section of the text was mainly about how there are many events happening inside and on earth that cause earthquakes. And I have that keyword here, earth. I'm gonna make that bold and we'll highlight it so that it can stand out. So that's my keyword that I'm using to support my central idea. Now the words that are a little bit smaller I'm going to use for my key details. So one of the words that stands out to me is material. That one's pretty big, not as big as earth, but definitely still a key word that is standing out. So when the text was talking about material, it was talking about how there's material inside of the earth and it's what's building the plates um, or the crust of the earth. So to kind of put that into a key detail statement, I would say that material inside the earth builds up and creates plates that can move. Now, this is important because when we were reading that section in the text overall, we know that the movement of the plates is what is causing those earthquakes. So it's important that we have that material to even build the plates in the first place. Um, another word that's standing out to me is break and rock. So I think I'm going to try to combine those um, because what's breaking is the rock. Um, and that's definitely an important thing to focus on when talking about earthquakes. Um, so to put that in a key detail statement, it was talking about how the breaking of rocks can create um, a fault, and a fault is where many earthquakes occur. So the breaking of rocks creates a fault, and faults are where many earthquakes occur. All right. And that's something that's happening um, inside and on the earth. So that goes back to my central idea. Now the last word that I think I want to focus on is plates. That one's standing out to me. So when we talk about the plates, the plates are the things that are moving. And when they move, they're stretching apart or they're rubbing against each other. And that's a big thing that is causing the earthquake in the first place is that movement of the plates. So to put that in a statement, I'm going to say plates rub together and stretch apart, causing earthquakes. So now that I've used these um, words that really stood out to me in my word cloud, I now have a central idea and key detail organizer that sums up this section of the text that we focused on. Now if I were to do it for other sections, my word cloud would look completely different and my organizer would look completely different. So this is an activity that you can use multiple times for one text. So if you have access to a computer, I challenge you to go and make your own word cloud so you can see how this all works and create your own organizer either on the computer or on a piece of paper and I hope that you really enjoy this activity.
Bye, Pikachu Lions.